Now we're going to teach you a little trick about adding fabric on odd angles. That's one of the problems with foundation piecing is they'll open and not cover the area. So we're going to start with a little bear. This little bear is pretty easy as far as the body goes. It's just foundation pieced and then his little appendages are put in the seam here. He's got a hole here for turning but when you sew the pad of his foot that hole is encased. Now I want to do his head. and I've placed my number one fabric right side away and I've basted where the ears come into the seam so that that location is transferred to this fabric side. I'll place the ear, the ear openings quarter of an inch past that basting. Now I want to place his ear on top of here of that opening and I can pinch an ear well if I would like. He'll also kind of lay flat if you want. I'm going to pin that so it will stay. But now I need to foundation piece this area number two and it's an odd angle. So I'm going to place, to do this, I'm going to place my fabric that I cut for number two over the area number two right side up as if that's where I want it to stay. Then I'm going to crease the line on that ear. Now when I crease it, that's my wannabe seam. If I reverse that crease, place it over the ear, now just carefully open it, that fabric is now placed so that when I sew that line it will open and cover number two just exactly at the angle and yet look how odd this angle is. I would have never chosen that angle. So here's the test. It's been sewn. When I open it, it folds out and covers my area number two. Just perfect. Then I would do the same to this other side. The ear is tacked back. Once these areas are cut on the dashed line, then I can add the head to the body. And I want to make sure when, it's, when I'm cutting and when I'm sewing the bare head to the body, I lift the chin out of the way. So then it will flop down below the body.